All right, it's the rundown. It is uh, March 18th. And uh, I'm just sitting on a park bench. Don't worry, I'm social distancing. Just get some fresh air. I, I think I have strep throat or something. I've, I'm so noodly. Uh, I don't think it's the C word because I breathe fine and I don't have any of those issues. I just got a cold. I generally get sick before my birthday. Um, I've been yelling at tech all day. I had to cancel my Clint Boyer podcast because he thought we'd do a call-in show on my cell phone through Blog Talk Radio, which would not have worked. Um, couldn't figure out how to call in your show, Dan. I was screaming, screaming. I could hear you being, like I bet Dave, screaming into air. I was screaming into air. And then we got this show, the longest-running show we've ever had, and the producer, this kid, Michael Angelo. That's his fucking name. <laughs> Michael Angelo, legitimate I, name. I laughed so hard when Pete sent that email. He's like, hey, guys, Michael Angelo's got this covered. We're like, who? Yeah. And, and Michael Angelo seems like it's working, but <laughs> I, I, I'd like to know, like, what Pete's doing that's too important. Like, we, the three of us, the longest people at this company, oh, let's just stick a new kid who's been here for a day named Michael Angelo to run it. Like, what is Peter doing? Like Peter does nothing. He just waits for you to call and be like, I don't know. I, I, I my, I fucking don't like him. <laughs> yeah, I think we know. I think that's been. But a honestly, like, clear. what type of pea brain moron would not be like, oh, maybe I'll handle the rundown. It's the only thing we still got. Like tons of ads, that and some podcasts. It's like I don't know, Pete. What do you do? Like you're home. I hear your kid. Like, what are you doing right now? That Michelangelo, who looks like he's 17 <laughs> and has been to this company, I've never even seen him or heard of him. Like, what is he doing? You know, I'm not mad at Michelangelo, no. but yeah, Michelangelo seems like a very nice kid. Like he's Michelangelo did nothing wrong, and Michelangelo is just like he's minding his own business. He's probably actually like it sounds like when Kevin and I were talking to him. Michelangelo like stepped up to the plate and was like, I can do this. I, you know, he's trying to take on more work. And Michelangelo, like, that's what he's going to do. But I, we don't hate Michelangelo. We hate Pete. Michelangelo it's just a, a bizarre move to hand off the rundown to a kid who's been here for five seconds named Michelangelo. Well, unless, unless is he doing serious shit? Because no, Michelangelo's got the rundown. No, but no. Michael, no. Oh, Pete, can Michelangelo Pete's handle serious? Nothing. Pete, Pete's doing nothing with serious. Nothing. Because mm. I thought maybe Michelangelo. No. Could I think Pete's taking a vacation, honestly. Uh, into the topics, Corona still dominate the news. Oh, I keep buying pen, fellas. It, it uh, dipped below four today. I'm down 30 mil. <laughs> that, that ain't no joke. That I, know. Joke. And I honestly... I haven't talked to you except for when you came on the yak and yelled at Stephen Che. The fact that you're outside makes me very nervous because I know that Dave. And that Dave is like, a, I got to walk away around. From your troubles. Yeah. <laughs> if Dave's going for a, a walk, we're fucked. The minute it, it, he came on, I was like, this is a uh -oh. problem. Because he's it, definitely doing the, like, life's too short. Like, it's only money. It's fine. It's not a big deal. It, it's the India re time. It's India re little things. It's from <laughs> seventh grade on. Seventh grade on when I was in gambling debt. To turn yeah. on India re don't worry about a thing, and walk. I just walk. <laughs> I get the fuck out. I'm day traded. I can't. And the worst thing is, Dan, some idiot told me to buy not idiot, like two days ago, I was like, just buy Blue Apron. I do not care for Blue Apron. Blue Apron, he told me this at five. I bought it at five, sold it at six. It was, it's at 17. Oh. In like a day. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah, it makes sense though, right? You know, you know you're know, you going to get all your shit delivered, so. Yeah. Set, it's up like three zillion percent. I would have, yeah, whatever. Uh, yeah, you're right. Get outside, social distance. Look at the water. Birds, the birds don't know what's going on. They're, they're walking around. It's a dog holiday. Dogs are having the time of their lives. A lot of the work. Listen, Corona may be here in a hundred years, and so will these birds. <laughs> That's a good way to look at it. The birds will be fine. Uh, so is the, and I haven't been online that much. I'm just trying. I'm, I haven't felt good. I'm trying. I'm just. I got a short fuse. Is the Tampa thing official? Official. Uh, I don't think it's official official. There was conflicting reports. I think Rappaport had it as official and then Schefter had it as <laughs> almost official. But I mean, it's, yeah, 
Yeah, I mean, we already talked about it yesterday. I'm fine. I, I'm, I've come to grips with it. I'm, I'm actually excited now for the first time ever for like a Patriots regular season. Uh, you know, by the way, someone just said, "President, think that uh, stu- these stoolies, they don't believe in social distancing." No, we we'll come right somebody, up on you. No, they come up. They want to shake hands. They want pictures. It's crazy. No, it's crazy. Yeah. Um, Oh wait, wait, Dave. Did you see the Did you see the other quarterback news today? Yeah, Nick Foles. You got Nick Foles. Got your boy. Got your boy. He's so, gonna be. Your, he's gonna end up being your starter. Yeah. What happens? What happens to Mitch? Like, is are they? I I think I think Nick Foles is gonna be the starter. Um, the Bears are fucked no matter what. Like, I saw a lot of people wow. being like, the Bears are in or quarterback purgatory. Like, no shit, dude. That's our entire franchise is quarterback purgatory. We never have an answer at quarterback. Like, that's just well, what we are. Don't, don't be a Philadelphia bro. What makes you think Nick Foles is not the answer? I don't know. I just, I mean, he's he's got a weird career. He's got a fucking weird career. It's up and down, some injuries, some like almost quit football. I don't think you can sit here right now and be like, Nick Foles is your franchise quarterback. They, the Bears did the right thing that they are going to try to go all in this year with the defense they have and a quarterback contingency plan. And next year, they can basically walk away from both guys. So we'll just be back and score on. I said on the act today, in three years' time, so before the 2022 season, I would guess that either quarterbacks will be on the roster and the coaching staff in the front office won't be there either. It'll be a whole. How did, did – could people hear me on the rundown yesterday? I'm doing it on my phone. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's uh, fine. Anything else? I mean, I don't know what else there's to talk. It's just Corona. I mean, the news, watch- the news of the day is that there's a guy named Michelangelo. That's my takeaway. We don't have to talk about anything else other than Michelangelo. That's and he's the rundown. He's been at our office for literally less than a month, and Pete assigns him to this particular assignment. He is it? It's crazy. I I did talk to Jay, CEO of uh, hey. Penn today. Okay, you before say? you do that. Before you do that, Dave, tell us about that. Uh, now it's time to move on to our all-time favorite underdog success, sto- success story, Movement Watches. Movement Watches was founded on the belief that style shouldn't break the bank. They've sold almost 2 million watches worldwide by bringing quality designs at fair prices. Everyone loves a good gr- uh, ground-up entrepreneur story. Movement was started by college dropouts at a founder-funded startup. We understand living under a tight budget. That's why Movement starts just at $95. You can watch $95 normally, looking at $400 for the same quality for a traditional brand. We're always wearing movement around HQ. It's so nice to have a simple watch that so tells time and also looks good. Movement, not off the watch. They have sunglasses and other accessories that are perfect gifts for friends, family, and others. Join the movement and get 50% off today with free shipping and insurance by going to slash rundown. Movement's launching new styles on their site all the time. Check out the latest at mdmt.com slash rundown and join the booth. Kevin, is that like a bamboo poster behind you that you bought on an island? It's a piece of wood from the place, uh, the island I was born on in the Bronx. It's a piece of driftwood. Nope. Yeah, it's made out of the driftwood. Yeah. Yeah, I got one of those in St. Martin. I have it. Uh, it tries to take me away. Um, yeah, I talked to Jay. You know, and I got, listen, weirdly about me. Um, I don't know. Rohn's hit text me. The weirdly thing about me, and this is like a gambling life thing. I, it sucks what's going on, but I'm not like stressed. Like when shit like Corona happens, there's nothing you can do. It's just like, I don't get mad about it. It's like, what are you going to fucking do? Like the, right. the Corona came after us. It's like the stock and what's going on has nothing to do with the people or anything. It's just, you, you just gotta, I believe in Jay. I believe in his people. And like he says, like we're scrappy. We'll get through it, but we got to. We got a fucking. Someone's gonna come up with a fucking vaccine already. Mm. Yeah, I don't care this shit. Fucking close. I know it's uh, it's true though, Dave. Like one one of these situations, like everyone's eating shit right now. Yeah, everyone is eating shit. If it was just us singled out somehow, I'd be freaking out. But if the whole world's fucking down, then whatever. And of course, of course, obviously, we're an in an industry where we'll eat more shit than you know some other industries, but. It's it's not like it would be one thing if the stock just took a dive and like the market was going up. Like this is a really big deal. So I agree with you. I just like what are you gonna do? You gotta fucking just keep power in the room. And it's not like something where there is no money. It's just that once once there is a vaccine, it all comes flooding right. back. 
Oh. Yeah, I mean, because, you know, every, it's every group, they're all shut down. It's kind of, I mean, it's tough to do much, tough to do well when you can't make money and you're still paying and doing so, whatever. We'll get through it. I'm, listen, we, I've been through Brady Gate. I've yeah. been through. We're cockroaches. Uh, <laughs> We're cockroaches. We'll be here when the lights come on, man. It's like, this is, I like shit like this. It cleans out the week. Get rid of the week. Like, I've been, I've been through it all. I'm trying to think of this stuff. Brady Gate, uh, the blackout tour. The blackout party does not refer to getting so drunk you blackout. No. 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 When I, that kid who, like, I said he ate his hot dog like a savage and he turned out to have some sort of disease. Yeah. Yeah. There's been all sorts of, I, I, you know, whatever. It is what it is. <laughs> it all is right. what it is. It's a rundown. Maybe I'll just keep picking new locations. So this guy's, if I, let's, if this guy runs by me, although I'm going to get him behind, I'm going to stand up and watch how slow this guy's running. I'm going to get it when it goes by me. Oh, nice. <laughs> He's shuffling. It's like walking, yeah. yeah. I think he shit his pants. Like, if how he's using his ass. Yeah, he what shit is, his pants. What is that? Uh, Come on. That guy, I mean, he's still get going. Get your knees up, bud. Knees up. The, walk, the walking people are passing him in the passing lane. Dave, I got one last question for you. Um, Stephen Shea is pretty confident that he's going to be spending some time with Tom Brady in the next, you know, not near, near or near future. What does that mean? What does like that he's... mean? I'm not trying to put these Super Bowl expectations in, but they are all in for the next two years on this experiment. And I'm confident it'll work. He's got access to the Bucs. He's going to go down. I told him – that it would be very funny, like, if Tom Brady starts doing media, which I assume he will because he doesn't have to do the Patriot way anymore, like, imagine if Tom Brady's first interaction with Barstool is on the Going Deep, formerly Surf and Turf pod. Yeah, but the thing is, I don't think Brady wasn't, Brady could do whatever he wants. I don't know. And I said this before. Someone asked me about this. Maybe it was you, like, the reason Bryce Harper didn't like us in the beginning was because Nate was his first interaction. I don't know that we really want Dorche <laughs> to be like, oh, what's this? So I don't know. <laughs> Dorche. I think Caleb was right. Like Tom Brady and Stephen Shea are two of the weirdest human beings alive. I was going to say, I think that you don't like a guy like Stephen Shea. I think Tom Brady would love a football mind who's a yes. weird, quirky cat. Yeah. He's going to like him better than you. Listen, I'm not. I'm rooting for Tom Brady, all right? That's, that's... – I got news for you, Dave. I, confirmed news. Stephen Shea said that if Tom Brady doesn't have a good game, he's going to be throwing some guff his way. He's going to look at the tape. The tape don't lie. You're right. Yeah, and, and, you're right. And I will take those comments and I will DM them to Tom Brady and be like, watch out. This guy has 17 arrows in your back. So if you have a good game, don't turn around. And when he wants to play footsie with you, remember that. What was uh, I heard he was talking shit to fights on the yak. Is that true? Well, fights was talking shit to Stephen Shea first. So. Wait. I guess there's uh, – Stephen Shea said the linebackers coach for the Bucks played at Michigan with Tom Brady. They were friends. Okay. Feidelberg said, oh, yeah, I'm sure Tom Brady picked the Bucks because of the linebackers coach. Stephen Shea then responded with, hey, Feidelberg, why don't you name two position coaches for the Patriots? Oh, shots fired. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I fucking hate Stephen Shea. Can, can you imagine? Wait, who do you, wait, wait, wait. Who do you hate more right now, Pete or Stephen Shea? Pete. Pete. Pete gave us Michelangelo. <laughs> I like Michelangelo. I do it's not his fault. It has nothing to do with Michelangelo. And this has seemingly gone smooth. <laughs> I but Pete, I've been here forever. I don't like when, like, when I called up at one point. I'm like, so I had to, we had a Clint Boyer podcast scheduled for today. And it's like, I'm sick, so I'm not going into the office, and I'm not going to make anyone come to my apartment. I'm like, are we just doing this on my cell phone with blog talk radio and calls? And Peter's like, yeah. He's like, I thought Spider gave you the options and how bad it would be uh, sound quality. I'm like, oh, you thought Spider. You trusted Spider. And I just hung up on him. (laughs) Oh, man. Uh, Dave, one last thing. Coronavirus, obviously, not good. The whole world's kind of falling apart. But I actually think that Steve, the Bucks getting Tom Brady 
that actually is a little glimmer of hope that you still got it because what are the odds that we employ go to one of our, yeah. the fucking biggest Bucks fan in the world and he's Stephen Che and he's like the way he is and it becomes a whole story like, like if Tom Brady had gone to the Chargers or like I don't even know like the like anywhere else where we don't have the river, we have the biggest Bucks fan in the world and he's gonna break down film and it's still the barstool match. Yeah, it is that in that respect, it's a lucky break. It's just the way he's handled it has been disrespectful and, and classless. Disgusting. Like Disgusting. Tom Brady handled it the right way. Give the Patriots their day. Don't he, he just jumped right into his whole his whole routine. Um, I was gonna say something else, but I don't remember. All right, I'm out. Noodle. Later. That's Bye. it. Yep. See you tomorrow. Don't fuck it up, Michelangelo. Yeah, Michelangelo, don't fuck this up. Look at him. Look I, at think, him. I think recording. we're good. <laughs> fuck this up, Michelangelo. Are you still recording, Michelangelo? Yeah, we are. Show the people your mug. Show the people your mug, Michelangelo. Right Guys, this is, this is my dog, Donatello. Not your face, <laughs> your fucking mug. Oh, your oh, oh, mug. oh, I thought. Your <laughs> here we go. There it is. All the Michelangelos. Look at hey, that. Yep. Do a favor. Next time that someone says, why you name Michelangelo, don't say that your parents named it after your dead grandpa from World War II. Just say the fucking Ninja Turtle. All right. Yeah. That's fine. Deal. It's too depressing. Hell yeah. yeah. Oh. Right. See All you, right. Michelangelo. See you guys. Bye, Thank you. Love.